In my younger years, history was my playground. It filled my books and graced my television screen through countless documentaries. Yet now, the thirst for a first-hand experience beckons. Come, be my fellow time traveler on this historical expedition, where the annals of the past come to life before our very eyes. This series takes us to the Solomon Islands, a place that echoes with the stories of yesteryears. Today, we tread the paths of PT-109 and immerse ourselves in the remarkable narratives of the young Navy Lieutenant John F. Kennedy and his gallant team. Let's delve a little deeper into the legendary PT-109. This vessel, a creation of Elko in Bayonne, New Jersey, took her maiden voyage in 1942. Embarking from the Norfolk Navy Yard on the SS Joseph Stanton, she ventured to the Solomon Islands and set her anchor at Tulagi. Throughout her time, she witnessed fierce battles around Guadalcanal, with Kennedy assuming command in April 1943, steering her courageously from the base at Tulagi. The PT-109, harboring a resilient crew of 13, navigated the challenging waters from a newly established base at Rendova in June 1943. They vigilantly guarded the Ferguson Passage and Blackett Straits, eyes peeled for the ominous Tokyo Express, a fleet of Japanese warships. The date of August 1, 1943, marked a crucial mission where 15 PT boats embarked on a journey to disrupt the Japanese supply chain on the island of Kolombangara. Caught in the cloak of darkness and fog, with visibility reduced to a mere whisper, PT-109, alongside PT-162 and PT-169, remained stationed further from Rendova, unaware that their comrades PT-159 and PT-57 had engaged with Japanese destroyers and retreated towards Guizo. The calm before the storm was shattered in the early hours of August 2nd. Amidst the moonless night, the Japanese destroyer Amagiri hastened at a speed nearly touching 40 knots was bearing down on them. Despite the efforts to remain undetected, PT-109 could only manage a mere 10 seconds to react before a catastrophic collision ensued, splitting her in half in a devastating inferno. As the fiery waves engulfed the vessel, two brave souls, Kirksey and Marnie, succumbed to the furious flames. From a vantage point high in the hills of Kolombangara, the solitary witness, Australian coast watcher Reg Evans, absorbed the horrific sight, convinced no soul could have survived the onslaught. But the spirit of resilience thrived amongst the 11 survivors, clinging to the remains of PT-109's bow, drifting amidst the perilous sea for hours unending. Realizing their precarious situation, Kennedy orchestrated a daring escape to the distant Plum Pudding Island, leading the severely wounded McMahon to safety, with the sheer strength of his jaw clenching onto the life jacket straps. In this untouched islet, now proudly renamed Kennedy Island, they found a brief sanctuary, devoid of sustenance. With the relentless sun their only companion, their tale of survival continued as they ventured to Olasana Island, sustaining on coconuts and captured rainwater, all while evading enemy sights. Kennedy's relentless spirit drove him to further explore Nauru Island, where fortune smiled upon them in the form of abandoned supplies. It was here that a beacon of hope emerged, as Kennedy connected with the vigilant coast watchers, Gasa and Kamana. Through ingenuity and courage, they managed to convey their whereabouts through messages carved into a coconut and penciled notes. After a perilous journey, assistance finally reached the marooned crew on Olasana Island, bringing much-needed supplies and a promise of rescue. The communication network spurred into action, heralding their survival and coordinating a daring rescue mission. On August 8, 1943, 
the resilient survivors of PT-109 were embraced by the welcoming arms of rescue, marking the end of their harrowing ordeal. As we traverse the historic landscapes of Kennedy, Olasana, and Nauru Islands, it feels as though we have stepped into a living tapestry of history, a testament to human resilience and bravery. The vivid recount of shark-infested waters, lurking enemy forces, and unforgiving natural elements paints a portrait of incredible human endurance. Thank you for joining this journey through time with History Adventures. We hope this episode has stirred your soul and ignited a passion for history. We invite you to engage with us through your likes and comments. Do subscribe to our channel and share this voyage into history with fellow enthusiasts. Until our next historical sojourn, take care, and we look forward to your company once again.